All right, Nerlaws Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Wednesday. It's 2.58 in the afternoon. It's uh, January 9th, 2019. All right, richest person in the world is getting a divorce. <laughs> wow, the richest person in the world that we know of, right? Jeff Bezos and his wife Mackenzie will divorce after 25 years of marriage. You're worth, what, $140 billion and uh, you're miserable? How can that be? <laughs> Amazon, Amazon.com Inc. founder Jeff Bezos, Amazon, you know, and his wife Mackenzie are divorcing after a relationship that started at a New York hedge fund and is ending a little more than a year after he became, this is Jeff, the world's richest person. The world's richest person gets a divorce. Is that not the signs of the times? I always thought when I read this verse, in the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E, it's good enough for me, I read it every day, then I obey, the B-I-B-L-E, yeah. That in Matthew 24, one of the first chapters I really studied in the Bible uh, as a kid, really, I thought that one of the end time signs would be divorce, rampant, rampant divorce, yeah, divorce everywhere, would be a sign that Jesus Christ would, would be returning soon. Now, people think it's earthquakes, and yet, yet it is. People think that it's wars and rumors of wars, and yet it is, et cetera, et cetera. Famines, pestilence, yeah. But don't forget, it's also uh, divorce. When I was a kid, there was hardly anybody that was divorced. I didn't know anybody that was divorced. One kid in my school, uh, his parents got divorced, and we thought it was all like weird. What the? Divorce? What is that? Matthew 24, uh, look at verse 36. Jesus is speaking here. But of that day, what? The day of Jesus' return. Uh, but of that day and hour, nobody knows. Knoweth no man. No, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father, Jesus said. Only. Verse 37, Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah, remember Noah, build that boat. Yeah. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Well, we know that Noah's day, well, they were cray cray people. The people were uh, just crazy with sin. That's all they thought about 24-7. Sin and violence covered the earth. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. As the days of Noah, Matthew 24, 37, social the coming of Jesus be in these last days. Okay. And it says, verse 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, what happened at the time of Noah? They were eating. They were drinking. Uh, I always tell people, and I don't think it's just uh, Kool-Aid here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is Kool-Aid, uh, symbolically, yeah. But I'm not talking about uh, orange juice. They were eating and drinking orange juice. No, 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 they were partying. This is alcohol. Drinking, yeah, so the increase of alcohol consumption. I mean, how could you even watch like a football game? They had the big Clemson-Alabama game the other day. And uh, even the NFL games. How many, how many beer and alcohol commercials can you have? <laughs> During a football game, yeah. I don't drink alcohol. <sniffs> never have and never will, yeah. For as in the days of that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. This is partying. This is boozing. Then it says marrying and giving in marriage. What the heck is that about? That's divorcing. Now, some translations don't even uh, really... Not that I've seen it. I don't think I've ever seen a translation that really said divorce. But every time I look at this, I thought, you know, it's not that difficult to actually put the scriptures together and understand them nowadays, 2019 and beyond. Why? Because uh, the things that are happening before our eyes are actually fulfilling scripture. Yeah, so it's, I think it's very uh, easy or a lot easier in 2019 and beyond to actually understand Bible prophecies and scriptures because they're actually happening before our very eyes. Yeah, uh, being fulfilled, happening. Whereas the days that were before the flood, before the flood, before the flood, they shall be at, uh, at in the end times, right? They were eating and drinking. This is boozing, alcohol everywhere. And then marrying and giving in marriage. This has got to be divorce, right? Because there's always been marriages on the earth. So it's obviously not pointing to just marriage. Now, generally speaking, it, it, it could also reference that everything is like, you know, happening as it was thousands of years ago. I understand that. But I think it's more than that. Because when I read the headline today, I said, Jeff Bezos, richest man in the world, gets divorced. Was getting divorced, right? <laughs> wow. You know, because a lot of people, they think that I'm just going to get money. If I can just have money, I'm going to be, like, different. 
Jeff Bezos, according uh, to the reports, is the richest man on the earth. And he's still like everybody else. I saw him the other night uh, on television there at the Golden Globe Awards, right? To me, he just like he looks kind of strange, right? He looks like a guy uh, out maybe out of an alien film. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he he he's in bed with the New World Order, right? Jeff Bezos is in bed with the uh, CIA. You know that, right? Okay, that's really how his company took off. Contracts with the CIA. Hello, surprise, surprise, Bob. But having the title of the richest man in the world does not inoculate you. Does not keep you. Or keep your marriage happy. You think people like I, I was going to say this. Uh, you know, men, women, they think if I could just be financially secure, if I could just have money, what happens if I had a billion dollars? What happens if I had five hundred million? What? What happens if I had a million dollars? What about two million? What about eight million? I, 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 I would be different. I would have it. I would have not this pressure. I blah 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 blah. I would have a perfect family, perfect marriage. <laughs> Hello, Jeff Bezos. Bezos, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Uh, 100, almost what, 140 billion. I'll get, to, I'll get to the article in a moment. moment. No, it's the signs of the times we're living in. Happiness does not come because of the size of your bank account. It comes because you have your sins washed away in the name of Jesus. And his spirit fills you. And you learn to obey his word. And you obey the scriptures. And you do the will of God in your life. That's where happiness comes from. The relationship and the obedience to God, yeah. With God and to God, yeah. In those days before, and I thought, wow, this is, I mean, Jesus is obviously giving us insight to 2019. The richest, you know, not one rich person. The the richest person in the world got, is getting divorced. I said, God, get it. <laughs> What's the matter? You know, you can, you can only drive so many cars, right? <clears throat> I mean, if you have over $100 billion dollars, what? You can buy a house for a billion dollars and it's not even scratching the surface. Yeah, I think when the divorce goes through, she's going to have like 70, half, 70 billion, which would, which would make her the richest woman in the world. <laughs> but she still can't stay together. Why can't you stay together? Why, why, you know, why, why not just you know, be together? Why can't you just live together? You've been married 25 years and now you're calling it a divorce? What the... You just couldn't live. I think they got four children. You can't just be together. You know, how much money do you need? I mean, you could travel around the world. You don't even have to see each other. <laughs> no, nope, we got to get a divorce. What does that say? It's just like everybody else. And it's a sign of the times. In those days before the flood, people were enjoying banquets and parties, <clears throat> right? Uh, drinking, marrying, blah, 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 blah. Giving, uh, marrying and giving in marriage. Yeah. So I, I think this is definitely uh, what we're seeing here, divorce. Marrying and remarrying. Yeah. Until the day that Noah entered into the boat, the ark. Yeah. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came. The people do. <laughs> Pass me a beer, man. <laughs> and took them all away. That means killed them. <laughs> so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. In the easy English, it says the same thing. Well, a little differently. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties. This is parties. There you go. And weddings. See, they just kind of gloss it over and just say weddings. But I think it's just more because the old English says uh, <clears throat> marrying and giving in marriage. Why would it? Why would it? Obviously, it would. If it was just marrying, it, would, it wouldn't repeat itself and say marrying and giving in marriage. It would just say they were eating and drinking and marrying. If it was just about marriage. No, it's about marriage and divorce. Oh, am I not right? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, parties, weddings, right up. And I'll add divorce in the new easy English. Doesn't it's not as quite accurate. Up to the right up to the time Noah entered into the boat. People didn't realize, verse 39. People didn't realize, but I'm realizing, are you? Yeah. What was going to happen? What was going to happen? Jesus Christ is about to return until the flood came and swept them all away. Bye bye. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man returns or comes back. I think 24, 39. Oh, okay, back to the article. All right, so uh, they met together in, a, in New York, right? Hedge fund. Uh, ending a little more than a year after he became the world's richest person. Bye-bye, world's richest person. And you got to get divorced. What the? 
he wrote it on actually it's not just this is not just uh, speculation this is what uh, Jeff Bezos said on Twitter today at 6 17 a.m what are you doing up at 6 17 a.m talking about your marriage yeah. it says here we want to make people aware of a development this is Jeff Bezos on Twitter today see Trump goes on Twitter Jeff Bezos goes on Twitter yeah uh, I think Jeff is like uh 20 times, uh, let me see, two, 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 20 times, I think 20 times richer than Trump. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, because uh, 10 times Trump would be 60 billion, approximately. And it's, it's like double. So it's 20-ish it's, it's times richer than Trump. Yeah, Jeff Bezos says. Okay, so this morning on Twitter, he said, I want to make people aware of development in our lives. As our family and close friends know, after a long period of loving exploration and trial separation, we have decided, we have decided to divorce. What the? And continue our shared lives as friends. Friends. We feel incredibly lucky. I hate the word lucky. It's really from the word Lucifer, which is the fallen angel, the devil. All right. We feel incredibly lucky, he said, to have found each other. And deeply grateful for every one of the years we have been married to each other. And 25 years isn't that long, really. Maybe in Hollywood. But anyways, if we had known we would separate after 25 years, he said this morning on Twitter, we would do it all again. Uh, I don't know about that. We, we said, we've had such a great life together as a married couple. And we also see wonderful futures ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 70 billion split down the middle. Okay. As parents, friends, partners in ventures and projects, and as individuals pursuing ventures and adventures. Though the labels might be different, yeah, divorced. We remain a family, and we remain cherished friends. Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos on Twitter. A couple met in New York. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 at D.E. Shaw. Jeff was the first person to interview Mackenzie for a role at the hedge fund, and the pair ended up having offices next to each other. According to a 2013 interview with Vogue, they married in 1993. And a year later, drove across the country to Seattle, where Jeff founded Amazon. And they have four children, right? Early part of their company, Mackenzie, the wife, an author, played a significant role at the company in the early years. And, quote, was there when he wrote the business plan. She wrote in a review, right? in 2013 uh, Bezos biography he says, she said I worked with him and many others represented in the converted garage the basement warehouse closet the barbecue scented offices the Christmas rush distribution centers and the de door desk filled conference rooms in the early years of Amazon's history <laughs> Bezos right Jeffy boy is only 54 that's really young really is worth 137, right? How much? 140 billion with a B as in boy. 137 billion, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Oh, yeah, I read that every day. So, yeah. A ranking of the world's 500 wealthy people, wealthiest people. He owns about 16% of the retailer, as well as the Washington Post. Next time you see articles from the Washington Post, yeah, yeah, that's Jeffy. And space exploration company, Blue Origin. You know, there's a new uh, series on television uh, called the Blue, Bro Blue Book Project. Did you see that? Yeah. Aliens, UFOs. I should do a video on that. It says, Jeff remains focused on and engaged in all aspects of Amazon. They don't want to scare the uh, yeah, investors. Drew, blah, 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 a spokesman for the retail, said in an email statement in response to a question about how the divorce might affect the company and its investors. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> They said, uh, well, the article says, uh, next paragraph, a divorce could reshape the global wealth ranking. Oh, let me hold my breath. If the couple split their fortune equally, it could leave the wife, Mackenzie, who's only 48, with 69 billion. Cha-ching, cha-ching, making her the world's richest woman, right? Which would drop him down, I think, behind Bill Gates. It could also make Microsoft core... Co-founder Bill Gates, currently worth $92.5 the planet's richest person once again. 
Bessos became the richest uh, and took over Gates' position as wealthiest man in the world, uh, October 2017. Right, yeah. The state of Washington, where Amazon is based, and the couple have a home, is a community property state, which means all property and debt acquired during a marriage will be divided right down the middle, right? Equitably by the court if the couple cannot negotiate an agreement, according to the website of McKinley Irvin, a family law firm in the region. An equal division of such a fortune would be unprecedented. While Oracle Corp, Larry Ellison, has been through multiple divorces, again, my point exactly, none has affected his state, stake in the software, uh, stock, stake in the software maker. Likewise, Google co-founder, Google co-founder Sergey Brin's stake remained unchanged after he and his and his wife Anne Wojcicki Wojcicki divorced without fanfare in 2015. Ah, uh, see, if I, if I could just make a billion dollars, a million dollars, five hundred, that whatever, I will be happy. Now, does that seem that's the pattern? Yeah. And they go on to talk about other uh, divorces, oil industry magnet Harold Ham's separation from his wife Sue Ann was far messier. They divorced in 2012 after 26 years of marriage. And their trial two years later ended with Ham, the chairman and CEO of the, of the Continental Resources, Inc., being ordered to pay, well, that was him, pay her $972 million of his then $16.1 billion fortune. That's not even a billion. That's not even half. I guess they, nobody knows if uh, Bezos, of Amazon co-founder, and his wife have a prenup. It says, while it's unclear whether the Bezoses have a prenuptial agreement. See, there you go. Probably, uh, I'd guess probably not, but who knows. A split is unlikely to be uh, as messy because uh, so much of their wealth is tied up in a, in a publicly traded company. Both have an interest in a business like divorce. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the divorce lawyers are probably licking their chops. <laughs> yeah, they want a messy divorce because the lawyers get paid even more. Drag it out, baby. But it says here they have a mutual interest in making sure that no one is uh, is concerned that the ship has sprung a leak. Speaking about Amazon, I guess. You need to filter their public comments through that lens. <laughs> so, so far, every indication that the split will be, you know, not messy, right? Like they said, we see wonderful futures ahead for us as parents, friends, partners, inventors, and projects. And as individuals pursuing ventures and adventures. Yeah, they wrote in the tweet announcing the divorce this morning. The labels might be different. We remain a family and we remain cherished friends. <laughs> We're the bar side. Signs of the times, yeah. Signs of the time. You know, I, I, I wrote some other scriptures down here. Matthew 16, 26. For what is per a person, a man, a woman, profited if they gain the whole world and lose their own soul? Come on, you need to be born against spirit field, people. Actually says that three times in the in the New Testament. Matthew 16, 26, Mark 8, 36, and Luke 9, 25. Yeah. What is a man advantage if he gain the whole world? Richest man in the world and lose himself. Don't forget Revelation 3 17. You say I am rich. You I am rich. You say I am rich. Jesus said this to people. You say I am rich. I have everything I want. I don't need a thing. And you don't realize, Jesus said, Revelation 3 17, that you are wretched miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Why? Because you don't have Jesus. Nor his blood, his spirit, his word, obeying his kingdom. Ooh. So Jesus said, verse 18, Revelation 3, 18, So I advise you, Jeff Bezos, Mackenzie, to buy gold from me, buy my kingdom. Gold that has been purified by fire. That's called his kingdom, Jesus' kingdom. Heaven and earth is the spiritual and, the, and heaven, etc., etc. Then you will be rich. Also, buy white garments from me so you will not be ashamed by your nakedness. Well, if you're living in sin, your Bible calls you naked. An ointment for your eyes that you be able to see Amazon founder. <laughs> Revelation 3, 19. I correct and discipline everybody I love. So be, so be diligent and turn from your indifference. Ah, your hardness of heart. Jesus said, verse 20, I look, I stand at the door and knock. Jeff Bezos, if you hear my voice, Mackenzie, open the door. I will come in and we'll share a meal together as friends. <laughs> come right to your door like Amazon. <laughs> uh, verse 21. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne. 
just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Wasn't that lovely? That is bloody brilliant, I think. Revelation 3.22, any, any, anyone who hears, anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit. <laughs> I have my Bible verse of the day on my website. It talks about those listening to Jesus' voice are really the successful ones in these last days, listening and obeying. This is the last verse here, verses. Luke chapter 12, one of my favorite stories in the whole Bible. It's the parable. It's the story of the rich fool. You were a fool. Oh, yeah. Luke 12, 13. Then someone called from the crowd, Teacher, please tell my brother to divide our, our father's estate with me. I want a divorce. <laughs> Verse 14. Jesus replied, Friend, who made me judge over you to such, such things as that? Verse 15. Then he said, Beware. Guard against every kind of greed. Jesus said, Life is not measured by how much you own. But yeah, that's what a lot of people believe. <laughs> what do you do? How, how much money do you have? How's your car? What, how many houses do you have? Blah, 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 blah. Well, Jesus said, you know. Verse 15. Jesus said, beware and guard against every kind of greed. Life. There are people that don't have money that are, are still greed, uh, greedy. Just because you have money or you don't have money, you can, you can still be full of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own in your face or you don't own. Some people take vows of poverty and they think that they're godly. It's neither. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Luke 12, 16, he told them a story. Jesus said, I like stories, don't you? Jesus said, a rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. Amazon founder. Verse 17, he said to himself, Jeff says, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops and all my money and all my stuff. Verse 18, then he said, I know I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Amazon, all over the world. I'll have room enough to store all my goods. Verse 19, I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, he's talking to himself, you have enough stored away for years to come. Now take it easy, eat, drink, and be merry, but divorce your wife, who cares? Verse 20, but God said to him, God, <laughs> really, if you're not born again, spirit filled. If, if Jesus hasn't washed your sins away, you really don't own anything on the earth, even though you might own stuff. Because technically, legally, uh, when Jesus returns, he divides the earth to the people that know him, that have their sins washed away. You're a joint uh, inheritor. You're a joint heirs with Christ. Heir of God. So if you're not born again spirit-filled, you really technically, biblically, uh, spiritually own nothing. Yeah. Until you get your sins washed away. Your sin voids the contract of your Adamic. Is that even the right, the right word? Yeah, when God said the earth belongs to you. Yeah, it does if you stay out of sin. <laughs> you got no Jesus? You got, you, you, yeah, no, you got nothing. Uh, the promise is only uh, good. The fine print is if you live without sin, but nobody can do that except with Jesus. Jesus washes your sins away. In his mighty name, by his sacrifice. Yeah, through an agreement through him. That's how it's a legal loophole. Watch my video on YouTube or just type it in any engine search. Daryl lost on YouTube video what it really means to be born again. Yeah. Jesus said to the guy, you fool, you will die this very night. Then who will get everything you worked for? <laughs> Yikes. Yes, verse 21, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not to have a rich relationship with God. That's what I said. All right. And very, very interesting story. And very interesting happenings. I think it's signs of the times. Which this person on the earth gets divorced. Yeah, is getting divorced. Uh, it comes out today. I think it's just another sign to people that, you know, don't let your goals be money. Don't let your goal. I mean, sure, go out and work. And the Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. I understand that. Whatever you plant, you shall reap. Don't be a lazy butthead. All right? But uh, that's not your uh, reason for being on the earth. Only. Of course it is to, to live and to, and to breathe and to do things on the earth. But... Our purpose is to serve the King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus Christ, the Messiah. A person is a fool to store wealth or whatever. Or would pursue things on the earth, but not have a rich relationship with Jesus. Listen, Jesus Christ is about to return. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is about to return. If you're not born again, spirit failed, you're screwed. You are. Even Jeff Bezos is. Yeah. So, you know, pray. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible. Read it and obey it. All right? Foster. Work on a great relationship, a rich relationship with Jesus, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, they're all one. They're all God. Yeah. 
Three and one, the Trinity. That's what you need to do. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit, get in the Bible, read it and do it. All right, then I have thousands of videos. Watch my videos to learn how to go forward faster. We don't have much time left. Jesus Christ is about to return. Get in the Bible, read it and do it. And I have thousands of videos. Go to my website, DarylLawson.com or DarylLawsonLive.com, same website. Click on the links, 24 seven information coming up there, videos, over 3000 videos. YouTube, Facebook, you name it, it's on there, information. You can't say you didn't know, right? If you don't know what's going on in 2019 with Jesus' kingdom, the last days, end time prophecies, uh, and everything else, it's because you don't want to know. <laughs> Jesus gave this generation the internet. Yeah, Jesus allowed and caused the internet to be uh, brought forth in these last days so we can bypass the fake news and get the real news. So nobody's without, nobody has, nobody has an excuse. <laughs> Darylaws.com. I will see you later. Pass this video to other people to encourage them. Uh, very, very, very interesting times we're living in. All right, Daryl Lawson, I'm signing off here. Uh, you go to my website, get all the information and more. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. All right. <laughs> Use those billions of dollars to support what I'm doing. <laughs> Darylaws.com has a donation button. God will bless you for it in every way possible. Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 to 12. I love you. Pass the video to other people. I will see you later. God bless you. Darylaws.com. Bye for now.